First, giving honor to God, I greet you once again with joy and with love that comes from knowing our risen Savior, Jesus Christ. I just give God thanks. Thanks for you. I thank God for each person that has assisted me today and throughout this week to prepare for worship. Thank you. The message that the Lord has given us this day comes to us from the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 5, verses 13 through 20. And I'd just like to lift up two verses from the New International Version of the Bible. I'd like to lift up verse 13a and 14a. Hear ye the word of the Lord. You are the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. Beloved, Jesus says to you and to me, you are the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. You are the word of God for the people of God. Praise be to God. Let us look to the Lord. O thou in whose presence my soul does take delight, in times of affliction I call. My comfort by day and my joy in the night, my hope, my salvation, my all. O merciful and kind God, I humbly come before you, this weak vessel of clay. O kind God, I ask that you take me deep down in your treasures and you lead me there. Lord, I pray that you come forth with all power and with all might, that you come forth with a word of love and a word of healing, a word of encouragement, a word of conviction, a word, Lord. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, Lord. You are my rock and my redeemer, and the people of God do say amen, 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 and amen. You are. You are. Being human, we spend a great deal of our lives striving to become. As little children, we are often asked, what do you want to be when you grow up? Whether in school, in our families, playing sports, learning a craft such as quilting or carpentry, or at our places of employment, we focus a lot of our attention and we extend a great deal of our energy and resources in becoming what we think we should be or what others are asking us to be. But here in our text, God tells us we are. We are, he says. How wonderful to, to discover that you are, that we are, that we are already equipped to do good works. How freeing it is to know that you don't have to spend a lot of money or go to a certain school, that you don't have to live in a special community or, be, or come from a certain family, or even be of a certain gender to bring something of value, life-changing, life-giving to an individual, a family, a community, each and every day of your life. Beloved, Jesus says to us today in this text, you are. Christ tells us you are the solution to the problem. You are the missing link that brings forth information and truth. You are the hands and the arms through which hurting people can experience and receive comfort and love. Beloved, you are the living candle that ushers in light 
into the dark places and spaces of our hearts, minds, and relationships. To make it plain, Jesus says, you are, we are, the salt of the earth, the light of the world. I don't know about you, but I had to look it up. I had to say, you might be asking yourself the question, I had to say to myself, well, what is salt? We are, he says, salt and light. So I went to the scientists and they tell me that salt is crystalline minerals that, make, that are made from sodium and chlorine. In chemistry, you know the symbol, if you were blessed to take it, or maybe it wasn't a blessing. <laughs> <laughs> it is N-A-C-I. <laughs> Scientists tell us that these two elements are essential for life. We cannot live without them because they contribute to the numerous critical biological processes that take place in our bodies. In other words, we couldn't make it. We wouldn't be able to survive as human beings if we didn't have salt in us. So what does salt do? Scientists tell us that salt regulates the amount of water that is in and around our cells. That salt carries nutrients, food if you will, to our cells that salt helps our brains to be able to function? Are you having a little trouble thinking, processing? Maybe you need a little salt today. Scientists tell us that salt helps our nerves send electrical impulses. Move that arm, move that finger. That salt helps our digestion and our metabolism. They even go on to tell us that salt maintains and regulates our blood pressure. Oh my goodness. Just a little bit about salt. Jesus says that we are the salt of the earth. He also said that we are the light. So what is light? I just went back to the scientists and I said, what, tell me what is light. And they define light as electromagnetic radiation that can be perceived by human eyes. That light is critical for human beings. It lifts us up because it helps our body to produce vitamin D. Do you have vitamin D deficiency today? Are you taking those vitamin D pills to help you? You know, they say that light in, improves our circadian rhythm, meaning it helps us be able to sleep. It keeps our sleep pattern together. Are you finding it difficult to know when to sleep and when not to sleep? They say that light helps us focus our attention. Is your mind wandering? Light. And if nothing else, light is important because it helps make us happy. Are you feeling a little sad? Have you been in the darkness too long? <laughs> light, scientists tell us. But Jesus says, we are. Not that we have to become salt. Not that we have to become light. He says we already are. We became salt and light, thank you Holy Ghost, when we accepted Christ as our personal Savior. We began, became salt and light because we were born again. We became a little chip off of Christ. The Bible says that we were already made in his likeness and his image, but because of sin, we became tainted. But praise be to God, when we accept Christ, we are made new again. So the Bible tells us, and Jesus says, we are. We don't have to become. 
we already are salt and light. Thank you, Lord. So because we are salt and light, in this text, Jesus reminds us that he has given us a commandment. He gave us this commandment in Matthew 28, verses 16 through 20. Go ye therefore out and make disciples baptizing all nations in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Jesus calls us to be the salt of the earth, to go out each day and to be kosher salt, <laughs> to be that hard crystal that wipes away untruth and sin from the hearts and minds of people, to be the salt that preserves the body, the individual who is hurting, the individual who is suffering, the individual who is seeking, the individual who is depressed and lonely. Be the salt. Give them the word of God. Show them the light. Be the living testimony of Christ. How do we do it? By living out his commands, showing them how to be in relationship with God, showing them not to make other things their God. Be that kosher salt. Have conversation with them. Encourage them to put down sin and to give their life to Christ. But in order for us to be that good salt that makes a difference in the world, on this Communion Sunday, we are reminded that we must become once again through the blood and the mystery of the cross, Himalayan salt. We got to become that pink salt, that Pink salt that is perfect, that has no iodine in it, that has no sin in it, that has no personal desires in it. We have to come before the Lord and ask him to forgive us of our sins. We have to ask him to help us to crucify our flesh, to help us be forgiving, to help us to let go of the grudge, to help us not to be prideful, to help us, to help us walk after him. Jesus says, we are salt and light. He says, we are the light of the world when we go out each day and show the love of God. In John chapter 15, verse 12, he says, I command you this, to love one another as I have loved you. In order to make a difference, we have to love. We have already are. We have it in us to do. We don't have to become love when we've accepted Christ, we are love. Let us go out and love. The Bible goes on to share with us that when we do the work of the gospel, we are the light in the world. We are the solution to the problem when we bring forth peace. We are the solution to the pain when we usher in forgiveness. We are the tool that the world needs for the change it desires because we are the salt that brings forth life. We are the light that shines in the darkness. This day, our communion Sunday, let us ask God to restore us 
to strengthen us, that we might be Himalayan salt, free of our own sin, bitterness, anger, disappointment, strife, to make us pure again. Let us ask God to empower us and to encourage us that wherever we go, whomever we meet, we will share the gospel with them, the salt that makes a difference in their lives. Let us be the light that points them to Christ. Let us be the love that binds us one to another. Light and salt we are. Light and salt we are. We do not have to become anything to be valuable in this world. We already are. We already are. Let us do the work of the gospel. Let us be what God created us to be, salt and light. Amen.